Hey, what's up? On the best of my channel, I'm Mikkel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn the bell. Each time I drop in, upload a video. You've been notified. So turn the bell, did it ding? Turn the bell, turn the bell, turn the bell. I hope everyone is having a day. I know that you're... Knowing that all your challenges is going to make you stronger. I'm also having a day of knowing that all my challenges and all my struggles is going to make me stronger. All our challenges and struggles is going to make us stronger. I appreciate all the love and support. And thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. For today's topic, subject title is going to be on, it's going to be about, it's going to be titled Oppression. It makes you stronger. Oppression, spiritual warfare, and spiritual persecution, struggles, challenges. In the long haul, in the long run, it's going to make you stronger. And I don't like challenges. I hate going through a lot of problems, struggles, trials, tribulations. This is normal. It's a human nature to not want to to go through a lot of hardships. Hardships and hard times, it brings them more stress. It brings them more anxiety. It brings more anxiety. It brings on more depression. So as humans, of course, our human nature is not going to like it. But it prepares you to be strong. And when bad times come, you know how to stay strong. You know how to stay cool. And you know not to lose it. You know not to go off and you know not to be weak because being weak is not going to make it better being weak being weak and sinking into a low place it's just it's going to make your problems overwhelm you and defeat you but stay strong and fighting Never giving up and fighting it help you to defeat your problems. So, like with all this targeting, you know, I'm a targeted individual, and going through targeting, the harassment, and the gang stalking, the noise campaign, people acting funny with me. And mainly family, they're strange around me, they're weird, they're not for me, they don't like me, they're snakes behind my back. I cannot trust them, so I cut them off and don't deal with them. This program put me further into isolation. I was always an introvert and a loner, off to myself on my own. With this program, it put me more into isolation and this gang stalking and targeting program it's made me stronger because i'm the youngest of my siblings and growing up my mother sport me she sport me and sheltered me I lived a very sheltered life. Like, it's like my mother just, she, she sport me and sheltered me too much in some ways because she just always did my hair for me. <laughs> for a long time, I did not know how to do my own hair. I'm terrible at doing hair. I don't know why. My mother know how to do hair and my sister know how to do hair even my niece my niece that is six months younger than me even she knows 
how to do hair. With me, I was I was always bad at doing hair. I'm getting better at doing hair now. I'm still not great at it. I'm still not great at doing my hair. I'm still not great at it. But I've been I've been practicing and doing my hair more. So I'm getting in the hang of doing my hair. <laughs> I'm catching on and getting in the hang of doing my hair. I'm getting better at doing my hair. I'm improving at doing my hair. <laughs> but today I got a ponytail. Most of the time I wear a bun. Most of the time I keep my hair in a bun. But for today, I got a gel back. I brushed it and got a gel back in. It's in a ponytail. As you can see, it's brush, gel back, and just in a ponytail. Yeah, but so and my mother never made me cook. I know how to cook some things, but she does all the cooking. She never made me cook. She never said, I'm not cooking today or this week. It's your turn to cook for today and for this week. Yeah, but she never just, yeah, she just, oh, she did all the cooking. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't cook for a long time. She did my hair. I just started on my hair on my own. I just began to start doing my hair on my own. And like I say, I stay home. I live home. I never had my own apartment. I never moved out. I'm 36. I've been at home up to now, up to 36. I'm 36 and still living at home with my mother. But it's soon changing because this program is showing me that I got no one. I'm by myself. I got no family. I got no one to depend on. I got no one to lean on. And this program made me realize that I got to get more independent. I got to learn to depend on myself. I got to depend on myself more. I, I got to get more self-assured with doing things. I got to get self-assured with doing things and being on top of things. I got to be on top of things like white on rice. <laughs> I got to be more self-reliant on myself. Because this program is just showing me that my family is my enemies. My family is of my own household, as it says in the scripture of Hosea in the Old Testament. So, yeah, it's like I work my job and stay home. I was like, I gotta get out more. So that's why I'm leaving town. I'm in isolation. This program forced me. And isolation and show me that I got no one. This program showed me that I gotta be stronger. I gotta be more sharp on my toes. This this gang stalking program and its targeting has taught me that I got to think more quick on my feet. I gotta be a sharp thinker. I got to think efficiently. And I just yeah, I gotta I gotta just get it together. I got to be on my toes and I got to just be independent, make it survive and thrive on my own. So that's why it has, I'm stronger now because now I cut my family off. I don't go to my family for any help. If I got a problem, I solve it on my own. I don't depend on my family. I don't worry my family with my problems, my burdens. I don't run to them to get help. I handle my problems on my own. I handle all my burdens and all my problems on my own. And I'm relocating. I'm, I'm soon going to relocate and move out of state where I got no family. <laughs> out of state, in this, in this state that I'm moving to. In the state that I'm moving to, in the city and state that I'm moving to, I ain't got no family there. I mean, I got family there, but I don't know them. My family is not close. My family has no unity. Everyone is so distant and spread apart 
in my family. In my family, there's no family reunions. My family has never had a family reunion. We're so distant and apart from one another. We're distant and apart from each other. There's no closeness. There's no unity. There is no togetherness. So I, I got family in the state, the city, where I'm going to, but I don't know them because we're not close. Our family never kept in touch. These out of town family members never kept in touch. Never called, never visited. So I don't know who they are. They're like strangers to me. So they're strangers. So I'm not going to try to find them. And even if I do find out, any, and even um, even if I get a whiff and find out where they live, if I get a whiff and find out where they live and their whereabouts, I'm still not going to the house. I'm not going to try to find them. I'm not going to show up on their steps. I'm not going to knock on their door and say, I'm your long lost family member. No. If family don't want to bother, then I don't want no bother. I don't. I don't put myself on no one. I never put myself on people. I've always been that way. I treat you, I treat you how you treat me. I show you respect. How you respect me. Yeah, I treat you the same way you treat me. I show you kindness, how you show me kindness. Yeah, so if family don't, and that, and that includes family, I don't put myself on family either. If family don't want to bother, then they feel feeling neutral. If family, if family don't want any bother, then the feeling is neutral. I feel the same way, and I don't want any bother either. So... In this new city and state, I got a family. I don't know where the family yet, and I'm not trying to find them. And I'm not going to find them, so I'm alone. In this new city and state, I got a family. It's just me. So I got to totally rely on myself. On myself only. It's just me, myself, and I. It's just me. It's just me, me, me. Yes, this program has made me stronger to be independent, to lead to... This program has made me more stronger to be more independent. It's made me stronger to relocate. This program has made me stronger to relocate and to move to another city and state where I got a family and I'm on my own. So, so this program has made me be more of a stronger woman and to stand on my own two feet more. Yeah, I got. I gotta get back to work, so I was talking fast and rushing because I got to get back to work. I appreciate all the love and support. Thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. I will see you all again in my next video. And the rest of your day, knowing that your challenges and struggles are going to make you stronger. I'm also going to do the rest of my day knowing that my challenges and struggles is only going to make me stronger. Don't let it break you. Your challenges and struggles, they can break you only if you let it. So don't let challenges and struggles break you. Don't let it break you. Always let it make you. Always let, the, always let it build you up. Always let your challenges and struggles build you up. And make you to a more stronger and a, and a more efficient person. Okay, a sufficient with doing the handling the handling the situations and handling things okay come on lord to the chosen ones that's out there i love you all truly and sincerely me that from the bottom of my heart my chosen ones by the sugar Mikhail, Mikhail the war goddess Subscribe, like, comment, share, turn the bell, each time drop in, upload a video, you'll be notified. 
So tell about the ding, tell about the bell, tell about bell. Sign it out. I'm out. Until next time, I see you. One love. Whole love. Full love.